Hello students. In this video, I'll explain two important uh, function, and one is sinum function or signum function. It is signum function. See here, what is signum function? You try to understand the definition of signum function. And the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to one if x is greater than zero. 0 if x equal to 0 and minus 1 if x less than 0 is called the signum function. See so the question will be asked to define signum function and uh, if it is asked to define you have to define like this and the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to 1 if x is positive or greater than 0, 0 if x equal to 0 and uh, minus 1 if x is less than 0. This is the definition of signum function. And uh, next one is domain and uh, range of the function. See here, the function is defined for every real number. Therefore, it is clearly the function f from r to r is defined. It is defined from r to r means first set itself the domain of the function. Therefore, what is the domain of the function? The set of real number r that is the set of real number is the domain of the function and you can observe the range of the function it will take only three values that is minus 1 0 and 1 and the collection of all image is the range of the function and what is the range of this function minus 1 comma 0 comma 1 and this is the range of the function and uh, next you have to draw the graph of the function now you see the graph of the function the definition says f of x equal to 1 if x is greater than 0, 0 if x equal to 0, minus 1 if x is less than 0. When x equal to minus 1, what is f of x? f of x is equal to minus only, f of minus 1 is equal to minus only. What is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 is also minus 1 because for every real number less than 0, what is f of x? minus 1 f of minus 2.5 is minus 1, f of minus 100 is also minus 1. When x is negative number, what is f of x? Minus 1. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. For all the values of x, f of x takes the value minus 1 only. And if you join all these points, first let us complete the graph of the left side of y axis. When it is minus 1, it is minus 1. When it is minus 2, then also it is minus 1. When it is minus 3, then also it is minus 1. When it is minus 0 0.5, then also minus 1. Minus 0 0.0001, then also it is minus 1. And if you join all these points, you will get a graph like this. And uh, when x equal to 0, it is 0. This point is there and you have to shade this point. And here, this should be, this point should be deleted here. My here 0 comma minus 1, the point 0 comma minus 1 is not there. That's why you have to put a circle with the open and that represent that point is not there. And similarly, you have to shade this point to origin because 0, 0 is there. You have to shade this point. Then when x is greater than 0, just when it is 1, it is 1. When x is 2, it is 2. When x equal to 3, it is 3. And the graph will be like this and uh, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1, all these points can be joined, we will get a graph like this when x is positive and here also the point 0 comma 1 is not there, you have to mark a circle with the open, that means the point 0 comma 1 is not there and this is the graph of this num function and the question will be asked to define signum function and uh, write its domain and range of the function and also draw the graph of the function. Now let us come to the one more important question that is greatest integer function. And you should understand the greatest integer function correctly. See here, the definition says like this. The function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to box x, you have to write it in a square bracket 
treated as box X, where X belongs to R, assumes the value of the greatest integer less than or equal to X. Such a function is called greatest integer function. And here, if I define like this, you may not understand it correctly. If I explain this on a number line, you will understand better. That's why I will take a number line and explain what is actually the box X is. Read the statement again. f of x equal to box X where X belongs to R assumes the value of the greatest integer less than or equal to X. Now, see here, you take the number line. Now, I will take one real number. For example, I will take 2.8 2.8 is one real number and what is box 2.8 the greatest integer function is applied for this what is greatest integer of 2.8 the definition says that greatest integer x is the greatest integer less than or equal to x so here where is 2.8 2.8 is somewhere here once you mark the point, you can tell the integers which are less than 2.8 easily. What are all the integers less than 2.8? 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, etc. All these integers are less than 2.8. And among these integers, which is the greatest integer? Greatest integer is equal to 2. Therefore, box 2.8 is equal to 2. And uh, if I take uh, what is box 4.3, you can tell easily and what is box 4.3, that's equal to 4, see here. 4.3 comes somewhere here. The greatest integer less than 4.3 is 4. 4 is the greatest integer less than 4.3, therefore box 4.3 is equal to 4. What is box minus 3.6? Box minus 3.6 is equal to, see here, you will tell minus 3. It is not minus 3. Box 4.3 is 4. Greatest integer of minus 3.6 is not equal to minus 3. See why it is not minus 3. Minus 3.6 comes somewhere here. And what is the greatest integer less than or equal to minus 3.6? Therefore, what is box minus 3.6? It is minus 4. Now, it is possible to find the greatest integer of any number and any real number. What is box pi? And you know the value of pi. It is approximately equal to 3.14. And what is the greatest integer less than 3.143? Therefore, box pi is equal to 3. And uh, what is box e? What is greatest integer function of e? And e is equal to 2.74 something. And what is greatest integer function of? That is equal to 2. And like this, it is possible to write the greatest integer function. And once you know this, it is easy to write the domain range and draw the graph of this function. Now, let us come to the values of box x in the standard intervals. From the definition of box x, we can see that what is box x? Box x is equal to minus 1 when x lies between minus 1 to 0, including the minus 1. When it lies between 0 to 1, box x equal to 0. When it lies between 1 to 2, it is equal to 1, and uh, including 1. When it lies between when x lies between 2 to 3, box x equal to 2, and so on. And with this much, it is possible to write the domain and range of the function. See here, the domain of the function is the real number because box x is defined for any real number. You can find the box x where x is any real number. And after that, you can find the image set. Image set is always an integer. It may be positive or negative or it may be zero. Image set is the set of all integers. See here, all integers occur as an image. And you take an in integer and you tell 13. 
and 13 is image of what 13 is image of 13.3 13.82 13.999 etc for all these elements what is the image image is 13 you will have the domain and the range of the function domain is real number and range is z finally let us draw the graph of the function and you can observe the graph of the function like this when it is in between 0 and 1 the box x takes the value 0 that is box 0 0.5 is 0 0 0.9 is 0 0 0.99 is 0 and if you plot this point up to 0 to 1 it will be like this and box 0 is also equal to 0 but when x equal to 1 what is box 1 greatest integer function of 1 that's equal to 1 therefore there is a point 1 comma 1 is included here and 1.1 1.3 1.5 1.9 etc are all 1 and it moves like this when it is 2 it is equal to 2 when x equal to 2 what is box x 2 2.1 2.3 2.4 all will take the same value that is 2 and when it is 3 it is 3 and so on even negative number is there minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.99 till that minus 1 it will take minus 1 and uh, minus 1.1 minus 1.3 etc will take the value minus 2 and so on here in all these you can observe right side it is open left side closed that means left side you have to shade it right side you should keep open if you draw the graph of the function and it will be like this and uh, you can observe it looks like a step and uh, that is why it's also called step function and these are the important functions on this chapter and still some other functions are there but it is not included here some function will come in the second year syllabus and that's why it is sufficient if you know this much knowledge at this level thank you